You know, sometimes it's, it's really hard to, to fathom God's love for us. And sometimes I forget about engaging with God. So for me, um, in my life, engaging God has looked like worship. Uh, the way I engage with God on a daily basis is I, I talk to Him every morning, I talk to Him every night. I find the strength, the strength in Him um, to get me through every day. When I think of engaging with God and when He doesn't answer, I feel like we as Christians think we've failed to God because we expect such immediate gratification. I know God is real. I know He's he, there's is evident in my life for what I do for a living and in everything around me for who I am and what I have. I don't always remember, but you know, I do my best. I do my best to engage Him, and and He's there for me. He's He's there for me, and in every way that I've asked Him since I've started seeking Him, He's He's answers my prayers. He answers it in a song. He answers it in a verse I read. My personal relationship with God is, it's, uh, it's tough uh, because sometimes I question whether he hears me or not and I question my ability to listen. In my own personal experience, I know he exists, I know he's alive, and I know that he, he is there for us to help us, to assist us and to provide us with the mercy, the knowledge, love, compassion. There's times in your life, in my life, anybody's life, where you, you're doing the things you know to do, you're praying, you're going to church, you're engaging with the Lord every day, and you know He's there. You sense it, you hear Him speak back to you. You know you're in the will of God. And then there's other times that you're searching and doing all the same things, and it feels like you're in the middle of a desert and you wouldn't know which direction God was if, if it cost you your life, you wouldn't know. My experience with God is as, as you pray, you want to know that God is listening. And uh, at one point uh, I had gone through a transition where I lost my job. I had been working for a bank uh, for over 14 years and I lost my job. Um, I didn't have a car and uh, I felt that God was not listening. What are you, what are you doing? What are you, uh, oh, don't you hear my prayers, Lord? And uh, I, uh, I asked the Lord, you know, if, if you're not listening to me, at least put somebody in my way that could help me. Um, because I felt lonely. I felt um, like I had not, I had not done what God had asked me to do. And uh, I'm sorry. But knowing that if I did on my own, as God had taught me, He would show up. And I remember in a couple days I had a job. And I had run into a friend and a car was given to me. It wasn't the best, but it was given to me. And as I proceeded forward, the doors began to open. And that's when I knew God was listening. Isn't it amazing all the comments you heard about people when they were asked about engaging God? You know, I find it interesting that people formulate an opinion of God based on religion. But I think actually, this has nothing to do with religion, I think it has everything to do with relationship. That God actually engages us, that He pursues us in spite of who we are, and He comes after us to tell, him, tell us about His love for us. I think that's amazing. I think that uh, a God would come after people like you and I that are messy, that don't know everything and trying to figure it out. But then I was starting to think about, okay, well, relationship is two-sided. What about me? How do I engage him? How do I come back to him? How do I pursue him? And how do I know that I'm doing it the right way? And what are those things that I need to be doing? What are those things I need to be thinking? And when I don't hear nothing, how do I respond? And how do I even react to life when everything's happening around me? Well, we're going to launch into a series from September 16th through November 30th, we're going to discuss engaging God. 
It's about two pathways. One is a pathway of relationship that is intimate. The second part is a pathway of responsibility. What is our duties, even when we don't feel things? And how are we gonna learn this so that it becomes monumental in our journey? I'm looking forward to being a part of this with you. And I'm not looking for some fluff talk, but I'm looking for real talk that we could share together and that your faith will be formed so that you understand the power of engaging God.